Ever wonder how to build an equipment rental marketplace like Quipped? With Arcadia software, you can build one in no time with no coding required. My name is Evelina, and today I'll be running through some of the key features you'll need to build an equipment rental marketplace with Arcadia. To start, I'll be using my marketplace, ShareCar, as an example which links buyers to rental cars. Let's get started. The first feature I'll be covering is categories. The categories located at the top of my marketplace display the different kinds of rental cars one can book. If I click one of them, say four-door cars, I'll be taken to a search results page with all listings grouped under four-door cars. There is also a drop-down for you to select the other categories available. To set up your categories and subcategories, go to your admin portal. Head to configuration, then categories. Click the Add Category button and input the name and upload a cover image for that category. Once you click Save, your new category or subcategory will be reflected on your marketplace. In the rest of this video, I'll be linking the full tutorials on how to configure each feature in a banner below just like this, so feel free to explore for more information. Now, the second feature I'll be going through is the user search experience on an equipment rental marketplace. The search bar on ShareCar is location-based and availability-based, so users can search easily for cars according to where they are and when they need it. However, Arcadia allows admins to choose your preferred search bar experience, which could be by keywords, location, availability, or a mixture of the three. You can change how the search bar is set up in the admin portal by going to configuration, then advanced search. On top of that, you can enable additional fields that can be filtered, such as wash car before returning or return with a full fuel tank. These filter fields can be configured in the admin portal under custom item fields. Next, I'll be talking about uploading a listing and add-ons. A crucial feature of a rental marketplace is that sellers are able to set prices based on the duration of the rental period. Let's use this listing as an example. We can see that it costs $140 per day to rent this mini convertible. However, depending on how the marketplace admin has configured the booking settings, sellers may be able to set pricing according to minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or even a custom duration. This feature can be customized in the admin portal by going to the configuration tab, then booking settings. Additionally, on this listing, you can see the add-on section. This is an important feature of rental marketplaces as these can be additional services, products, or other top-ups that sellers can provide at an additional cost to users on top of the main listing cost. In this example, we can see that the seller has added on different insurance options as well as the option to rent a child seat or bicycle hitch along with the car. Now. I'll be going through two last key features of rental marketplaces, making a booking request and payments. So let's say I want to rent this car. I'll first key in my preferred rental dates and duration. Then I can choose to request to book or buy now. Requesting to book allows me as a buyer to make a tentative booking and start a chat log with the seller where I can ask any questions that I might have regarding the rental. This also allows the seller to confirm any requirements or details they need, or even offer negotiated pricing should they wish. Alternatively, if I click Buy Now, you'll see that I'm prompted to confirm my contact information. Once completed, I'll be directed to a payments page where I'll choose my preferred payment method. You can see that my marketplace offers Stripe, which is one of the three payment gateways pre-integrated into Arcadia. Once I click Pay Now, I'll be prompted to fill in my payment details and can click Pay to make the booking. To configure the payments function, you will need to access the Arcadia Admin Portal and go to Configuration, then Payment Methods. You can see that Stripe is currently enabled and made mandatory while the other payment gateways are not. To enable other gateways, you simply need to link your account via the Link Account button and follow the instructions. Looking at the last option, 
you can see Stripe holding funds. This method allows for customers to book a listing and pay for it immediately. The seller, however, will only receive the money after the booking has concluded. Alternatively, if you would prefer to be the merchant on record or MOR and to have all marketplace transactions first sent to you, with you holding all the funds before dispersing them to your seller separately, you can add a custom payment method and have a generic payment processor of your choice enabled on your marketplace. That's all that we have for today's video. As this is meant to only familiarize you with the most important features of an equipment rental marketplace, if you require a full step-by-step -step tutorial on setting up a marketplace on Arcadia, feel free to click on the link in the description down below. <music>